got a slightly different video than I would uh, would normally do. You know, most of my things are about digital marketing for small businesses, but um, there's something that I was when I work with small businesses. Um, there's an analogy that I use. Uh, I love people who are big picture thinkers and they have this big picture. I particularly came across with my work with the University of Hertfordshire uh, and the enterprise team there with the students because they have these wonderfully big ideas and um, you know that um, this time next year I'll be a millionaire type ideas which are phenomenal it doesn't mean to say they're not gonna to get there but I was working with the, uh, one particular student who had this fabulously big picture and was not able to kind of get away from the big picture to think about what action to take and I was trying to think of an analogy to use and the analogy that I, I came up with is that the big picture is not a picture it's a mosaic made up of all the little pictures you've taken on the way there. And my question to him is, what is the first picture you're going to take? And that analogy was something that kind of allowed him to see, see things a little bit differently and to focus in and start thinking about that planning, that journey he's going to take. The fact that the big picture is not a big picture, lots of little pictures. And it kind of applies to the situation we find ourselves in at the moment. Um, there is a very frightening big picture out there at the moment. You know, it's a hugely frightening big picture, notwithstanding that there is a, a global pandemic with uh, a virus going around that, you know, is causing incredible loss of life and uh, is causing a lot of people a great deal of grief and heartache. But also because of what we've all had to do to adapt, whether that is businesses putting people into furlough, making people redundant, um, you know, small businesses uh, either having to you know, get involved in government schemes or small businesses like myself who haven't been trading long enough to get into any of the government schemes. So then having to really rethink and repoint and refocus businesses, you know, you've got bills that need to be paid and income that is down. You've got situations whereby you're in an environment you are just not used to, you know, working from home can be quite stressful, particularly if you're in a house full of people and you're not used to having that, you know, the kids coming in and uh, your wife working from home or your partner working from home as well. Um, as well as those people who are on their own. So there is a massive, massive, big, scary picture out there at the moment. And I was thinking about this in terms of myself because I get a little bit overwhelmed with it all. Um, you know, I've seen a huge decrease in the amount of work that I'm getting. I'm a face-to-face -face trainer, uh, which is, you know, it's the antithesis of social distancing. I'm not actually allowed to stand up in front of 100 people and talk or be in a classroom of 10 people and train. I've got to do this remotely, which is why I'm doing these videos and I've done online courses and thankfully some of the organisations I work with are going to are beginning to get work that I can I can deliver for them. But it is still a very stressful time. And it just I was just reminded of that analogy, whereas I kind of used it as a business analogy. Here, here's the big picture. What are all the little pictures you're going to take? Again, perhaps it's something to think about in terms of where we are now. The big picture at the moment, it's not about this time next year we'll be a millionaire. It's about, you know. A global pandemic which is affecting all of us and that big picture is massively overwhelming so what I would suggest and what I have been doing is I've been taking individual little pictures the pictures that I can do something about and doing something about them you know whether that is pivoting my business to deliver online training courses um, whether that is you know I've been out and I've Put a three-month hike on my loan on my uh, my um, credit card repayments and the mortgage because you know that stuff is available there is a hit a little bit further down the line but it's a manageable hit so now i've reduced outgoing so i can concentrate on building a business without the stress of having to get quite as much money in as i was um about managing your own time about how i adjust to being home five days a week working how i adjust to uh, delivering courses to a, a camera instead of to a group of people and these are all things that I can control and I can manage these little individual pictures that I can remove from that very frightening big picture and take some degree of control over the picture of you know it's a beautiful day go for a walk you know the little picture of I've been working for eight hours it's time to stop and read a book or watch some telly you know have, have some Netflix because you know Netflix awesome um little things i control you know, bits of technology that i've been able to buy that has made me a more effective online trainer little pictures that i can take out 
it's kind of almost like a jigsaw puzzle. My wife and I and my children recently put together a thousand piece jigsaw puzzle. Uh, and again, if you look at the entire picture and, and try to figure it out, you can't. But if you concentrate on little bits of it, you know, you take all the things that look like a particular character and you put those together. The more of those little pieces you put into the jigsaw, the simpler the big picture gets. So it's overwhelming. It's difficult. A lot of people are struggling right now. Um, you know, everyone has their good and their bad days right uh, at the moment. Um, just think about what little photographs can I take? What little jigsaw puzzle pieces can I put in? It'll help you structure your day. It'll help you take control over the things you can control and will help you feel more positive, more productive, um, healthier and more relaxed. So I just put that out there. I hope it's useful. I hope people have found it interesting, a different perspective on it. But remember that big picture is a mosaic. You know, look at it one little picture at a time and the overall big picture is going to be a lot more manageable. Anyway, thank you very much for listening. Um, as always, stay well, keep safe and I'll catch you next time. Bye bye for now.